Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm down in West Union, Iowa today. Tell you what, I had so much fun hanging out with Vaughn and Joe Drews. Thanks, Joe. Short for Joanne. So, but we've uh, we met back at an auction. What? Back in July of 12. Correct. Out in Rock Valley, Iowa. You guys bought a wonderful 1206 on that collector auction and put on a great event today with the FFA kids. Thanks again for having me down, guys. Totally fun. And this is your uh, beautiful shed here. Now we did a feature with the kids. But as long as we're here, we need to hear more about some of your guys' international tractors. <laughs> so can we do a little walk and talk here? Yes, we can. You bet. Okay. Yeah. And okay, we start off. We got a 59 460 right off the bat here. What That's do we correct. got? What that, do we got, Paul? This would have been the uh, tractor when I was 13 years old. The first tractor that I bought. My dad wanted my brother and I, Doug, to buy two 460s to spread liquid uh, nitrogen, 28% liquid nitrogen for FS. So we bought two 460s from Bob Fob Implement. Okay. This is not the same tractor, but it's the same model and year tractor, and okay. we've turned that into our tractor ride tractor. Okay. So again, you and your, you said your brother... Douglas, yes. Uh, okay. Yep. You guys grew up on a 59-460? Yes, we both, we both, we had two of them, and uh, this is now our, our tractor ride tractor, yes. Okay. Well, behind me there, uh, we got a 560. This will make my friend Max Armstrong happy. Yes, uh, my dad, uh, can we... After the boy, when the boy, us boys left the farm then, Dad took one of the 460s and traded it off. He needed a bigger tractor, more horsepower, so he bought himself a 560 diesel. This again would be the same model and year tractor that he would have had. Okay. We have two of Dad's original tractors. If we walk back this way. Okay. And we got, first we need to get a little shot of the, the, the pedal tractor and the little miniature 560. Joe, you guys kind of go all in when you... Yes, uh, we enjoy our tractors. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, guys, did you grow up around? You're from West Union here. Yes, and, and okay. we are currently on the home farm here. Okay. Uh, my dad passed away in 2004, and Joe and I bought the home farm from my brothers. Okay. And uh, we burnt and buried 12 buildings and moved the house to town, and uh, we put up the buildings that we have here, and and we just do enjoy doing events uh, similar to this, yeah. and, and with the kids, 4-H groups. We've had them out here for pizza nights and, and their, nice. their, their 4-H meetings and so forth. So we enjoy doing those kind of things with the youth and, and uh, encourage them. And Joe, did you grow up right around West Union too? Yes, not too far away. At Maynard was my Maynard. hometown. Okay, very cool. Okay, Yvonne, we'll lead on. Yeah, we'll come back here to, this is the 966 that my dad would have purchased new in 1976. It's a black stripe. Wow, beautiful. And it's the latest produced black stripe on record with Red Power Magazine. For, really? Or what is, I think our sixth year that we've had that distinction with this tractor. Mm. Uh, we had it restored at uh, Reedland, Iowa with uh, Schultz Repair. Dan and uh, Andy Schultz did the restoration on it and did a super job on this tractor. But a very nice tractor. We did put step up rims on it. Uh, to put uh, 38s underneath it to level the tractor up, but otherwise, uh, and they had a cab on it, we made it an open station yeah. tractor. And what was the name of the dealership that Pop bought it from again? Uh, that was at uh, Sherburn Implement at Sumner, Iowa, where he bought this tractor in Sherburn 1976. Implement. Okay. Yeah. Now, right next to it, this is the 1206 you guys bought on the July 12, 12 sale, right? Yes, it was a July okay. auction of 12 up at uh, Rock Valley. And uh, that was the opportunity, the first time that we had the opportunity. We watched you on RFD TV many times or sure. different shows, and, yeah. and uh, we got to that visit with fun. you there, and, and you did an interview of us at that time when we purchased this tractor. And I think that was, if I'm, I might be wrong, but it was Albert, I want to say, Gronawig? Yes, that's, that is did correct. his sale? I think correct. he was in his lower yep. 80s and had quite a collection. And, and Joe, you were there at the sale. What do you remember yes. about that, that, that I day? I remember Juan getting the bid on the 1206. <laughs> That's, a, so, that's excitement of the auction day, yes, isn't it? it was, get it. Yes, it was really warm that day. I it was warm, that. wasn't it? Yes. Right. Uh, and then, folks, again, you can see how beautiful the 1206 is here. Okay, and on the other, let's see. Yep, the other side here we have the 656 that my dad bought new in 1967 from Bob Fob Implement at Elgin, Iowa. And this tractor never has been in the shop for any uh, repair or work. It's, it's an original like it was. We, we did the restoration on it up in Forest City, but uh, uh, just a good, straight, sound wow. tractor. So your dad bought two new internationals, the 656 and the 966? Correct. Okay. Correct. Did he have a favorite? Uh, he liked both of these tractors. This is a pretty good general purpose tractor for doing all different types of work and, and around the yard work and that and planting and 
and uh, a little field work and manure hauling and, and so forth, but just a good sound tractor. But he really enjoyed the 966 because of the horsepower and, right. and a little oh. bit bigger tractor. What was Dad's name again? Rodney Drews. Rodney. And my and mother is Gertrude. Gertrude. Is Mom still around? Nope. Mom and Dad are both gone. Okay. Yeah. You had your brother. You have a brother, Steve, also. Correct. And brother Steve, that uh, was a teacher here in West Union at uh, North Fayette uh, here, and uh, taught there for 41 years and is retired now. And uh, brother Douglas, and he's in Kentucky. And then we have a younger brother, Kevin, that's down in uh, Arkansas. Well, you guys are kind of spread out. Kind of spread out. Right. That's right. Cool. Yep. Well, where else are you going to take us here, uh, Vaughn, for your well, tractors? We can uh, go around this way here. My dad had a 1942H similar to this tractor here. This tractor is a little unique in the fact that it has a, uh, uh, an add-on hand clutch on it, but you don't see a hand clutch on an H tractor very often. Okay. But just a nice little H tractor. These four tractors here, Joe, you need to come over here. And Joe. Joe, are you with Joe, us? Joe, are you with us? Oh, these. <laughs> she's coming. She's coming. These four there she tractors is. Are, yeah. are Joe's parents' tractors. Okay. He had the A and the B John Deere, the Massey Harris 30, and the uh, M Diesel. Okay. And uh, very, very nice, uh, unique tractors here. The M Diesel is really a nice uh, one of the. They're not rare, but they're hard to find. Good ones are hard to find. Right. And again, guys, you. When did you start the process of trying to find and match up all the tractors? That your your folks had the model well, year. Well, my dad passed away in 04, 04. and then we at his auction we uh, dispersal sale we we bought those two tractors and then after that we started collecting all the rest of them. So you bought the 656 and the 966 on on, on dad's auction. auction. Correct. Okay. He did have a 706 German diesel, which we did not buy at the auction because of its condition. Uh, today you wish you would have it because you know, you can fix anything. Yeah. But we do have the 706 German diesel down at the other end of the building here. Uh, that we found up at Hutchinson, Minnesota. Oh, Adam Hutchinson, Marshall. right on Highway 7. Awesome. Yep. Uh, yep. So, Joe, you're, are your folks, are they around? No, they both passed. Okay. Yeah. So you grew up, you had uh, different color tractors on the farm when you yes. were growing up, huh? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. And I, uh, I'm the youngest of eight children, so wow. all that I really have a memory of a tractor is uh, we used to get together our neighborhood in Shock Oats and my dad would put me on the John Deere and say, you just drive, he put it in gear as slow as it would go and I just had to keep it straight ahead and stay away from the shocks. <laughs> just follow dad's that's, advice. That's right. And there you go. Exactly. Cool. How did, and how did you feel when, as you guys acquired these models, did they bring back good memories from growing oh, up yes. on the farm? Yes, yeah, we, we really enjoy the tractors. It's brought a lot of smiles to a lot of people, you know, when they come out to look. Yeah, do you guys, now again, you, you have a wonderful oh, pan over there, just an amazing facility here on the farm, kind of a, kind of an event center almost. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you bring a lot of people out, or do they want to come see your tractor collection? We do. We've had 4-H groups here. Uh, church groups will come out once in a while. Uh, okay. We had a uh, Lions uh, meeting out here one evening, so uh, sure. we do different things like that. We have a big 4th of July event here every year. We have friends and family from town that come cool. out, and, and we'll have 50, 60 people and watch the fireworks of town here that evening they from the farm. Here we can see them, and nice. so we just enjoy that. What was it that you guys were on the cover of Red Power Magazine? When was that? Uh, that was just the July-August issue. This of, year? Of this year. Okay. Correct. And, and that can, was, which uh, tractor was 706 it? 706 German Diesel. We can show you that to a young okay. side Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go find let's, that one. Let's, well, let's walk, we'll walk over Oh, we here. got more. Yeah, we got more around here. Th there's always more, isn't there? there? Always there's always more. more. This, uh, these are model tractors here that my dad would have had. This is the C tractor. This would have been, these two tractors are my grandfather's model tractors that he would have had. And the, the C here was the first tractor restored by the Ryan, uh, Ryan Holthouse uh, era of it, uh, teaching here with the FFA in, okay. in North Fayette Valley here. And this was their first tractor that they did. So we purchased this tractor from them, and then they put that money back into the oh, next project tractor. Nice. So it's, it's and that is quite an active FFA club. Yes. Ryan was telling us over 100 members. Exactly. Exactly. That's awesome. Well, that's a cool thing you did. You guys did there. That's, yeah, yeah. So we, we enjoy this little tractor. And this would have been my grandfather's first tractor that he bought, 1939 F20. Wow. 
and that's a hand crank start tractor. Uh, we uh, take that on uh, different, uh, have been in different parades with it and so forth, so it's just a fun little tractor. Do you remember any stories like your grandpa told you about the old well, play back do, in the day? I, I do I do remember one, one story about that, that when they brought the, the tractor out to the farm to John Drews, my, gra my grandfather, they unloaded the tractor, the dealership did, and he was out in the field with a team of horses. And uh, he brought the, they brought the tractor over to him and said, John, here's your new tractor that we're, we're going to deliver to you. So they showed him a few things, gave him a few directions. He got on the tractor and he drove across the field and he got to the end of the, of the row and he pulled back on the steering wheel and said, whoa, and drove right through the neighbor's fence. Oh, no. <laughs> Turned around and came back through the hall and kept on farming. So, <laughs> whoa didn't work. Whoa huh? didn't work for the tractor. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Well, there you go. So, American history. That's right, exactly. And uh, I love your uh, kind of your collection of uh, kind of farm. A lot of different memorabilia. Memorabilia, yeah, fantastic. Bend County Fair is our local fair, which we volunteer at and help. Uh, Mecham Auction, we've been to those, a number of those over the years. Sure. Uh, a lot of different feed sacks, uh, like I say, different, just different memorabilia that uh, we've collected over the years. Must have met a lot of made a lot of friends over the years collecting oh, yes, imagine. Yeah. Many, many, that's correct. Cool. So you want to walk over to the 706 You, you quick? lead the wave on. We'll, okay. uh, Let, well, let's go, go this way? Let's okay. go this way. It'll probably be the shortcut. Yeah. And what's the population of uh, West Union, Iowa, guys, would you say? Uh, 45, uh, excuse me, 2,500. 2,500, 2500 okay. 2,500. This, uh, this here is an 826 German diesel. Uh, I, when I farmed up north of Decorah, and we had uh, this 826, uh, the same model, 826 on, on the farm up there, so uh, we found this one at an auction over at McGregor, and bought it, and uh, had, the, had it restored, and, and have it in our collection. The 706 is also a German diesel. And this is the Red Power? This is the one that was on the Red Power magazine. Oh, I'm gonna we'll walk in and get the shot. Here you go, Joe. Yep. That must have been cool to get that in the mailbox. Huh? It was. Two years ago, we bought the tractor up at Hutchinson, Minnesota, at an auction, and uh, when we brought it home, then this April, we uh, from the shop, we put it in the yard, took some pictures of it, sent them down to Red Power magazine, and said, uh, Dennis and Sally, if you can use them, go ahead and use them. And we were very fortunate. The uh, next uh, edition here came out. And made the covers. Very so cool. Very, very pleased. Well, thanks for supporting our Minnesota economy, too, coming up to buy the Hutchinson. <laughs> that's, that's correct. That's correct. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful tractor. Yeah, it's turned out really, really well. So, we got the little pedal tractor 706 that goes with it as well. Very yeah. cool. Now, Vaughn, when you were growing up, what was your favorite tractor that you drove? Oh, that's a good Well, If you had to, to pick one. Yeah, okay, well, it would have to be the uh, 8N4, 1949 8N Ford, which is down in our hobby shop building. Okay. And uh, I learned to drive, all of us boys, in fact, uh, we all learned to drive on that tractor when we were nine years old. And that's what I learned to drive on. I can remember driving that tractor pulling two 14s, and Dad came in when he had the 1206 in 1966. He came up, he'd come up behind you when you were plowing with that, and, and he had the, uh, what, seven, probably a seven bottom plow behind it, and he had just come smoking up behind you, and you'd have to pull up the little two 14s on the plow, on the Ford. Wow. And, and get back in the furrow behind him. So th those are the things I remember. Nine years old. Probably does. Probably seems like yesterday. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it That's does. Very cool. Nelly Bell. Yeah, the tractor was named Nelly Bell. Nelly Bell. Why is it Nelly Bell? Because that was just. That the, was, yeah. That's what probably, it is. Probably because wasn't it? Uh, was that Roy Rogers' Jeep? Was named Nelly Bell. I don't know. I'm, I think it was. Well, I'll, I'll Google that on the way home. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hey guys, thanks for. Uh, Showing us the collection, uh, you bet. It was such such fun. And uh, again, thank you for what you guys are doing to help the local kids 4-H and FFA. And well, we're we're pleased to do that, and uh, very very pleased that, that you were uh, accepting of the opportunity to come here and visit with the youth. I think they did a very outstanding job oh, today. Oh, they were great. They were uh, great. In your interviews with them and, and telling their stories about their tractors, and we just had a super time today with with everyone and. and a great uh, Greg day. and Machine Repeat, we're very pleased that you were here with us and, and joined us today. Thank well, you for taking your time. Well, it's been, uh, been a, an honor to be here. Thanks again, guys, and uh, hopefully we'll see you out at an auction soon. Yeah. You bet. We'll be around again. You bet. Thank you for coming.